Okay, so boom, that time G by the round, a oh boy, <laughs> for the vice lord, <laughs> phone. So I'm sitting in the cell, I'm cool, and I'm chilling, I'm minding my own business, and all of a sudden, I just had a taste for one of them strawberry pop tarts. So I go through the commissary bag, right? Fah, hit, <laughs> come on out, fade out the cell. Fah. As I'm going down the step, it just feels like one of them days in a penitentiary. And if you've been to the penitentiary before, then you know what I'm saying. But if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. And it just feels like it's some, it's, some, it's some hostility in the air. You know what I'm saying? It's quiet, but it ain't quiet. Everybody looking like they minding their own business, but at the same time, it look like they on guard because they trying to pay attention to something else that's going on. It's like you looking, but you ain't watching. You just, you know what I'm saying? You on guard. So when I come down, I holler at one of the guys, hey, hey, hey. Come in real quick, G-Bot. So he faded. I said, man, what, what they got going on in the unit? He said, ain't nothing going on. He said, man, just everybody just chill. I said, just feel like something going on. He was like, nah, nah, ain't nothing going on. He was like, if ain't going on, though, I'll let you know, G. He was like, man, you want to get on them spades later on? I said, nah, 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 I ain't finna. You know, I'm finna. I'm finna go up and watch TV. So I go to the, when I get to the microwave, so it was like, pow, hungry folk pop up out the blue, as he always do. I don't know, I don't know what's up with this dude right here, but I'm telling you, anytime one of the guys come to the microwave, he pop up at the microwave. He one of them, you pop. Hey, hey, where you come from, folks? He one of them, it's like he a microwave watcher. He gonna come down there, he gonna start a conversation with then he gonna, he gonna wanna get in on your meal, or he gonna ask what can he put in on the meal. He ain't gonna never have enough, you know what I'm saying, to make it equivalent to him to even get half of the meal. I said, I said, I ain't doing nothing to warm this strawberry pop tart real quick. He looked in the microwave. Man, G, you always at the microwave, bro. You stay eating, bro. I said, what you got going on, D? He said, man, what kind of, I said, this is strawberry. He said, man, they messed my whole commissary order about two weeks ago, man. He said, man, I ain't even getting no strawberry pop tart. I said, oh, they messed it up two weeks ago. You, you should have went on the way when the next week came. You should have got some strawberry. You know what I'm saying? He said, man, bro, go on. He said, man, bro, trade me, man, one of them blueberry, man, for the strawberry. I said, man, I don't even really like that strawberry like that, man. You need to go over and, you need to go over and holler at the box or something. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even really trying. Man, come on, OT, man. You know how they be over with their box, man. They tell me, they gonna, I'm going to go over there. They're going to be like, nah, we need a certain amount of this and a certain amount of that. I don't even like dealing with bro when they come to that box, man. Now, had I been the opposition, though, had I been the opposition, they go going up there trying to get something out of the box. You know, he would he would have gave me whatever I wanted, but I ain't, I ain't even finna go up there. Get what I'm thinking to myself. <laughs> I don't know. He probably owe the box. He just don't want to go up there and remind him to look at them records and see how much you owe him. I said, man, come on. Come on to the sale, man. Come on to the fit. Man, appreciate that, Joe T. Man, so, like, you, really, you one of the realest guys in the park. See, you ain't got to gas me, home. You, you ain't got to gas me. You gonna, you gonna pop that same game with everybody else. It, 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 it's not working, fam. I'm, I'm doing this out of the kindness, kindness of my heart. You ain't got the gift of gab, but you ain't finessing me, fam. I'm gonna go up here. I already know what you're trying to do. You're trying to come up here, trying to be nosy, propping the hand me, can't use the phone. And I'm gonna tell you I ain't got no phone, and you're gonna hit me with, man, come on, bro. I know you. Nah, I'm, finna, I'm finna run it down to you, man. Penitentiary rules in effect, man. I'm finna run down to you. I don't care what you own, whatever you own, it ain't finna work. You finna get, the, you finna get this box of strawberry, and I'm, I'm gonna swap it out with that blueberry, and it, it's gonna be over with. It's gonna be over with. So he's like, oh, let me run to the cell real quick. He faded off to the cell, and as I'm walking to the cell, you know, the, the, the rock man, they clean the showers, and every now and then, they'll come in, they'll give them, you know what I'm saying, the stuff they really need to really, really clean it. They'll hit them, hit them with that bleach, you know what I'm saying, give them, give them all the real, the, the, the chemicals that they really need so they can get them things together. Nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, that's a sign that a real inspection is coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when they start giving you everything. And the rock man hollering, man, 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 who done, man, who done took a dump in the shower? Now, I don't know why, but every now and then, probably every quarter of a year, every two, every two, three months, you know what I'm saying, a couple of months, you always got this dude who just feel like, oh, I'm going to start taking craps in the shower. I don't know what it was, but uh, listen, listen, uh, it, 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 it irked everybody in the penitentiary. And the first thing it is, oh, soon we find out who's doing that, oh, you going to the back. You don't know what the back is? And let me know you ain't never been to the penitentiary. If you've been to the penitentiary before, you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go. And if you know what the back is and you've been to the back, I advise you to start making video and tell people so you can warn these youth that's coming up why you went to the back. Because a lot of people that went to the back, they, they got stories, I promise you, that's going to be better than that, that show scared straight because if you went to the back listen i promise you it was a, it was a scary moment it was a threatening moment an intimidating moment you know what i'm saying it, it was some kind of moment where you 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 had an epiphany and you realized if i don't go back here i might not make it home to my family and you you end up in the back you end up in pc you know so he said, man whoever been taking soon we find out everybody gonna agree with that oh yeah man whoever doing that man soon we find out 
Ah, oh, yeah, you you most definitely going back here to the back. You go back there in the back and do that. You know what I'm saying? You get you one of them cells. They got a shower in the in the in the cell with you. You 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 can take a number two, take a dump all you want to back there in the back. So, so, so and then this how they end up. This how they gonna catch you in the penitentiary. Once once that's been announced, everybody gonna pay attention to who getting out of what shower. And the next person that's coming in, if he busts out and say, "Hey, hey, who was just in here?" <laughs> You're gone. You, you, you're out of here, doc. You're done. Finito. You know what I'm saying? If you got enough sense and you're the one who crap it, you will try to plant it on somebody by going in there. You know what I'm saying? And if you got enough time to crap it, then, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But listen, you you going to the back. So I fade on up to the cell, right? By the time I'm going up the steps, I see him come out of the cell. He running with the box of pop. Here I come. Here I come, bro. Here I come. I know you come. I know you come. I get in the cell. As soon as he, bless his cell. Man, I appreciate that. Here you go, bro. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, go on in the commentary. He said, dang, your commissary bag. Your commissary bag. Stay on fat Joe T. He get the patent on it, right? He get the, man, you got everything here. I said, you're going to have to unhook it. You know what I'm saying? And let it down. You ain't going to be able because it's it's so heavy, family. I go on and I go on and get him. It's so heavy, family. You know what I'm saying? If you try to pull the drawstring, it's going to be too heavy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to push it back tight. So you're going to have to go ahead and just lift him off. You know what I'm saying? And shh. And look in there and get it. You know what I'm saying? Man, you crazy. He, huh. he reached down in there. Man, what's up, bro? I said, man, what's up? Man, we ain't gonna cook a meal with me, man. Man, you got everything in here. I said, man, what's up? We can do something tonight. I said, what you got on it? Man, bro, right, right now, I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Right now, I got a little. I got half a summer sausage. You know what I'm saying? Then he get in position. He, I got half a summer sausage. Uh, 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 I got a half of a, uh, uh, the jalapeno cheese bar, you know what I'm saying? I got a half of the mozzarella John too. Uh, I got, I got a half a bag of, uh, refried beans, and then, you know, I got three, uh, tortilla shells down there. I said, so you got a half a bag of tortilla shells too? Yup, 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 yup. I said, oh, we, we need to quit calling you homework, folks. We need to just call you, uh, half on it, folks, because you, you literally got half of everything down there. Man, come on, Joe T, man. You crazy, man. Boy, you a real comedian. Now, I ain't no comedian, I'm saying, bro. You just literally said you got half of everything. Bro. We need to start calling you, uh, yeah, I got half on it, folks. Man, what's up, bro? What we gonna do? I said, bring half of anything. What you got? <laughs> he said, no, what's up? He said, I said, yeah, go and bring your half, because that's literally what you got. So he faded on out of the cell. When he faded out of the cell, pow, somebody knocked on the door. It ain't two, three minutes later. I just got through enjoying my little pop talk. I'm trying to chill. I'm finna get ready to pull that toe out of pop, 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 pop. Hey, Joe T, you in there, bro? I'm familiar with all the guys' voices. You know what I'm saying? This funny, folks. This this PC. This probably GD business. I said, man, what's going on, bro? Man, GB the reading, I need to holler at you real quick. And then how he said, I could tell he got in the crack of the door and said it. So it wasn't a sense of urgency. Like, I got to come out of the cell and see what's going on. Hey, bro, GB the reading, I need to holler at you real quick. I said, oh, come on in, bro. It's really pow. Man, bless his As soon as he walk in, I noticed he with the ops. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the opposition is. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. You ain't never been affiliated. If you ain't never been affiliated, I advise you to never become affiliated. So you ain't got to learn what the what the ops is. Now some of y'all only know because y'all done heard these rappers who, who who talk about ops who really ain't never had no op, never ran into an op, ain't never up no 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 y'all on no op, and never you know what I'm saying ran into the op at the at the at the grocery store and, and got into it with them for real. Like they don't really like it's just a, it's just a it's just a it's just a cute word they like to use that is if as if they got beef out here. So when he come in, he he bring. He, he he bring in a 55 with him. So when he bring it, when I look, I said, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? He said, man, oh, he said, man, poor boo. He said, man, man, bless his cell, Joe T. He said, man, what's going on? I said, what's up, five? He said, oh, what, what's going on? He what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Just being respectful. What you got going on, five? Everything straight? Man, bro, bro, man, you know, I was just hollering at you, brother. He was like, yeah, Joe T, man, no. Uh, you know, I ain't want to bring, you know what I'm saying? It brings everybody attention, you know what I'm saying? I told him to come over and holler at you. He ain't. In in a way, he he ain't exposing, you know what I'm saying, that I got a position in the pod, but you know what I'm saying? He was just like, man, we're gonna go holler at bro, you know what I'm saying? Bro got plenty of sense, all this, isn't it? So he was like, man, bro, uh, man, he's saying one of the guys, you know what I'm saying, done robbed, you know what I'm saying, who he let hold his phone for him. He was like, yeah, Joe T, man, you know, I ain't wanna put your brother business out there or nothing, you know what I'm saying? When he say that, I'm wondering what, what, where this is going, where this is going. Because this is one thing I noticed, you know what I'm saying, when they come to this opposition right now. You came over here with one of the guys that nine times out of ten you've been peeping, you know what I'm saying, that's probably got some kind of status in this pod. So you just so you knew to go holler at him. And one thing for so, two things for certain in the penitentiary. Now, now, 
you can think you getting away with something, think you hiding something, think you keeping something away from people. You really ain't like everybody know everybody business on the low. If you if you got something that's, that's on the low, this it's not gonna be on the low for a long time. You know what I'm saying? If you think you fooling them for you, you're delusional. You know what I'm saying? Cause everybody in there who's sitting in their pod chilling, I promise you, they can tell you who holding what for who, when they passing it to them, where nine times out of ten, where the spot is and anything. So the, so you really ain't, you know what I'm saying? He was like, Yeah, bro, I ain't I ain't really wanna uh, Put your brother business out there, you know, what what he do on his own time, you know what I'm saying, on his own person's time, you know what I'm saying, that's him. So it sounds like to me, he, he making an accusation on whoever this is, right? So he was like, man, you know, I had the boy, you know what I'm saying, hold my phone, you know what I'm saying, and whatever him and the boy had going on. I said, what, 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 what you mean, what, 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 what him and the boy had going on? Because at this point, we ain't even going to discuss the phone because you came up here on some personal business. It ain't turned into vice lord business yet. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then on top of that, I'm already knowing this. This it, you ain't trying to make it a GD issue either. You really trying to re resolve the situation without it going left. And they ain't even to told me who the brother is yet. So when he said, I was like, what, what you mean? What he got going? He was like, man, bro. Like I said, I ain't trying to get all in the business or nothing. He was like, you know, they called a child the other day, man, and uh, he was in the cell with the boy, man, and I, I guess he he ended up knocking the boy out, you know what I'm saying? He took, took the phone, you know what I'm saying? Whatever he was mad about, I don't know. He was like, I don't know if he know the phone, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing he already knew the information to the phone because of whatever they had going on. He was like, bro, I'm just trying to resolve the issue, you know what I'm saying? Because I already know, you know what I'm saying? Robin, like, we don't, we don't do that. When he say we, he really trying to make it like, you know, because he know GD and Vice Lord move under some of the same principles. And that ain't something we do. We don't move, you know what I'm saying, like like Crips and stuff. But I ain't even, I still ain't even asked who, who the brother is yet. I said, what what boy said that? Because at this point, you know what I'm saying, you you making an accusation on one of ours. I said, what, what boy said that? He was like, man, bro, I ain't even trying to put him out there. Like, I said, no, nah, you ain't got no choice. You, you just see him coming to say, I said, you don't, you don't come in to say bro, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be respectful. But you is the opposition who, who, you know what I'm saying? I was like, uh, who, who, what boy was it? So he say the boy. We still ain't said the brother name. I said, I tell fun of I said, I'll go, I'll go get him real quick. He was like, man, I see, I wasn't even trying to go through all that. I was like, I'll go get him. He said, man, bro, I ain't finna go get him. I said, man, go get the boy. Go get the boy. Cause we gonna, we gonna resolve. Ain't no sense in us having no conversation about something like that. We ain't, we ain't got the boy right here. Cause you already know what time it is. By the time we, like, you know what I'm saying? I said, God, go get him. So he faded out of the seat. I said, he said, man, Joe T, man, I ain't even gonna lie to you, man. He was like, man, I don't know what the boy gonna say. What you mean you don't know what he gonna say? You just said he told you that. What makes you think he need to come up here and say the same thing? He be like, man, your brother, you know, he just he he be reckless in the pod and stuff all the time. Anyway, I'm and I say, like, which brother was it? So when he say the brother name, I have a flashback. This same brother, just a couple weeks ago, come in my cell and ask me. He was like, uh, bro, we on high alert. I'm like, nah, we ain't got no reason to be on high alert right now. Well, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? He was like, man, you know the uh, the Crips and the Vice Lords into it. I said, all right, what happened? He said, you know, one of the Crips was robbed, you know what I'm saying, somebody was holding the phone for a Vice Lord, and now, you know what I'm saying, they just trying to get the phone back or whatever, whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, you already know how that goes. So nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, uh, he, and now he, he was like, how you think how you think that's going to go down? I said, oh, nine times out of ten, the Crips going to be like, oh, we, we cool. That's what they do. You know, they can rob. They can do whatever they want to do, move however they want to do. And if they homeboys decide, you know what I'm saying, they going to ride with them and, and be on their side. It, it is what it is. Now, it's different. And this is what I say. I say, you know, it's different, though, with this, you know what I'm saying, when it's an organization, organization, you know what I'm saying, nine times out of ten, you know, because we don't, we don't supposed to move like it. You know what I'm saying? If it's some proof. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's brought to the org attention. You know what I'm saying? You know, nine times out of ten, they're going to try to resolve that, which they happened to me. They happened to me one time. You know, I talked to the phone dude. Now, they, they made me get a phone back. So so when he say when he say the brother name, I say, <laughs> this sounds just like the plot that he brought to me. It was an idea. It was something that probably, it didn't even really happen. He brought the idea to me to see how GD would handle the situation if it came to GD. I said, oh, bro, nice. He nice. Well, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't got no right now. We didn't find out this exactly about this boy. So when he started, I was like, then what, what you say happened with the boy? He was like, man, I had him hold the phone with the child, came back, you know what I'm saying? The boy was knocked out, you know what I'm saying? Got up and he talking about the boy got to cry and talking about, man, I don't even want to get in the middle of that. I'm just going to pay you for the phone. You get you another phone because I ain't trying to because he all, the boy already know. But let me tell you something about them boys at the penitentiary. Boys at the penitentiary, when they say something, 
It's, it's stamped. I promise you, cause cause they know uh, when the boy say something, it's got to be solid. Because if not, he already know. Regardless of whatever going on, you are gonna go in the boy mouth. Cause you don't want to be exposed. You don't want to be embarrassed. And that's and, and, and you gonna go on the chopping block. You you ain't no cross out. You're going on the chopping block when that boy open his mouth and expose and say some things. And then that boy already know if he open his mouth and say them things, it it, it, it gotta be solid. Cause he know the consequences behind. Anything. It ain't got. It ain't even got to be on no. You know that. It, this situation right here. It's equivalent. It's the same because it's coming from somebody who's considered less than or. Uh, you know what I'm saying. So he got to be careful with. It. So he he did the smart thing by saying, you know, hey. You know, I shouldn't have let this person in my personal space. Should have let him in on what I had going on. It, you know what I'm saying? This happened, and instead of it going to the next level, because that's where it was going to go, I'm going to just pay you for the phone, and we'll just, you know what I'm saying, we'll let back on be back on. But this dude, for some reason, he felt like he felt disrespected, because nine times ten, he probably knew, bruh, had knew he would, that the boy would hold the phone. So even though he took it from the boy, he felt like it was a calculated move. But he, he took it from him. So he felt like he could bring it to us. And then he opposition. So he and then he done exposed and said, you know what I'm saying? Not only did bro rob, he, you don't supposed to do, but, but only, he, and he put an accusation on bro. So when we get, we having this conversation, bro, pop, pop, pop. It's me, Joe T. He come in, pop, bless his head. I said, man, what's up? He said, man, the boy done locked himself in the cell. He said, he ain't coming over. He said, he ain't trying to rap. I said, oh, let me, I said, he going to have to, he going to have to come over. He was like, man, you go over there and talk to him through the door or whatever. I said, nah, I mean, I ain't even gonna worry about that. I said he just, I said he just told me who it was, right? I said he just told me who. It was. He said, so you ain't gonna go over? There? I said, man, nah, I ain't even, I ain't even, I ain't finna do all that. He said, man, come on, Joe, he, man, we gotta go over. We fade out the cell, go over. I let the boy get what the boy say. Man, I ain't never, I ain't never say that to him. I ain't never say that to him. Dude, go look. He said, man, what you mean you ain't never say that to me? He go find dude, he go find dude, sell it, tell dude, sell it, tell the police open the door. The boy get to hollering through the door. Now, nah, there ain't nobody coming in here. Ain't nobody coming in here. Now, everybody looking. And everybody, and the boy, not only, the boy didn't expose that bro was messing with him, but he also wouldn't admit that bro took the phone. So at that point, even if he go to his people, ain't nothing they gonna be able to do because the witness he got ain't solid. So it'll be his word against bro word. And guess what bro gonna say? I ain't took nothing from nobody. And as long as he's saying that, ain't nothing, ain't nothing you can do. It's over with. So dude, knowing at this point, he in a lose-lose situation. And nine times out of ten, he knew he was in a lose-lose situation when he brought it over by himself because nine times out of ten, the boy probably didn't even tell him that he was trying to put that boy in a tight spot and hoping that boy would go ahead and say what he had to say. And then he knew he was going to try to put bro in the So as soon as the boy say that, I said, man, I the boy said, Cause at the end of the day, you you the opposition, and I I, I was never one of them guys that's gonna be like, man, we finna go on and go and investigate, bro. Ain't no investigation at this point. Uh, five, it's over. With. He said he didn't. He said, bro, I ain't never messed with him. And he said, bro, I ain't took. He said, man, ain't nobody took nothing from me. And he ain't have to even go into saying, man, oh, I told him I was gonna give him his money. He ain't have to say that because at this point, it, it's over with anyway. So, bro, the five turn around and say, oh, so GD just let. He go off and say that GD letting messing with boys and run around right here taking. At this point, the guys who down here playing dominoes and playing, everybody turn around. All the vice lords turn around. I said, hold on, I said, hold on, hold on. By this time, they well, what's up, G? Oh, <laughs> step in the zero. Let's, let's, let's go to the zero real quick. We go to the zero. He in here trying to explain the situation. Bruh come, bruh come in the cell. When bro, when bro come in and say, he was like, yeah, it's him right there. Y'all just going, y'all just such and such and such and such and such and such. He was like, man, what's going, what's going on? Bro got to play this, 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 this part cool. He said, what, what you mean? What's going on? He was like, I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Vice Lords in here, G's in here, and we, and we, we in my cell at this point. <laughs> Tio, cause y'all ain't finna get me confirmed in here. That, that that ain't we ain't finna pop nothing off in here. We we need to move to another cell first and foremost. I said, but look, I said, look, check this out, bro. I said, bro, trying to say, you know what I'm saying, that you was uh that you took the phone from the boy, and then he tried to say that the boy said you and him was messing around. At this, bro, say, do what? 
I'll pat him down. Brett don't even want to talk, which we knew this is where this situation finna go. He said, I want my one. He said, I want my one. He said, I ain't took nothing from nobody. He said, man, it ain't. He said, man, I ain't doing. He said, man, go on, pat him down. Y'all want the one? Oh, yeah, dude asked for the one. Pat him down. We step out the cell. Now, we go to another cell. We step out the cell. How you hear? Next thing you know, brother, it, five minutes later, no disrespect to the fact, five minutes later, he popped it on. Pow. I don't know what's up with y'all. I don't know what y'all got going on. But I'm going to tell you something. Ain't nobody going to be trying to do, 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 do. He go off in the pod and, I, you know, all the G's, you know what I'm saying? Big G on there, family, yeah, big. He come out and say, man, it's crazy, man. Only thing I was trying to do, man, is just get back my stuff, man. It's over with. Five them out. Come on back in the cell, bro. Come on back in the cell, bro. You tripping. Come on back in the cell. They go back in the cell. I guess they talk about whatever they were going to talk about a couple days ago about. The boy, let's do it. The boy, the boy come out to say, oh. Next, he catch the boy on the rock and rock the boy on the rock. Because he, he, nine times ten, he probably couldn't get the boy in the cell. We sitting in the middle of the park. We cool and we chilling. Next thing, ah, oh, come on, what's wrong? He, they up there. The boy up there about, about to get the best of them to the bite. Till everybody ran up there, you know what I'm saying? Try to calm it down, try to kill it. You know what I'm saying? But, it, 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 but that's the whole situation right there. The nine times, now, I ain't never find out. It wasn't no... No investigation was never conducted about if bro was messing with the boy or not because I think it was just a strategic, calculated, uh, 33 strategies of war type of move. I think he was trying to put the boy in a tight situation that way so the boy, you know what I'm saying, would be forced to say what he was going to say. But that, that's that's how that ended, bro, ended up getting the one. And he, and he kept the phone, you know what I'm saying, turned into a G community phone, you know what I'm saying. The G's was happy he did that. And at the same time, you know what I'm saying, the, the, it was exposed, you know what I'm saying, he took the phone that time, 10, you know, he went on and said he took the phone. After he, after he, got, the, after he got the one, and then, oh, yeah, the boy, the, the boy never gave him the money for the phone. That's what happened. But yeah, hey, y'all be blessed. Y'all hold it down. It's your boy, Joe T.